Sup everybody, it's Matt over at remove-malware.com and tonight I'm going to go ahead and take a look at a beta and as you can see by my background I'm betting you can guess what it is, it's the F-Secure ISTP beta they call it a technology preview officially I normally do not like looking at beta software because nobody takes it serious if there is something wrong with it they'll just say hey it's a beta but um the F-Secure people approached me um, and asked me to take a look at their new product. I have a beta which is freely available on the internet. Um, anybody can grab it. I don't have the URL, but you can probably search for it. I'll just kind of go through it with you. Uh, how big is this beta download? This is their internet security package. Now my PC is a little slow right now just because I booted it up. so. And if you hear some background noise, uh, I had to move to the laundry room because we're doing some remodeling and uh, <laughs> things are kind of a mess over here right now. So I've got the uh, washer going. <laughs> anyway, this uh, download is 68.2 megabytes. If I take a look at the version, it's a 1.30 uh, with a bunch of trailing numbers. It's from F-Secure. F-Secure has a huge market um, in repackaging their antivirus and kind of uh, selling it to all the ISPs around the world, it seems like. I, I'm in the Midwest, so I see F-Secure a lot with Charter, Charter.net. And then I was working on my uncle's computer, and he's got Cox, and they had some, I'm pretty sure it was some F-Secure stuff over there, too. So let's go ahead and open this guy up. This is going to be kind of a long review, because it's kind of a... A big application. I mean, basically, what what slows this whole thing down? It's not the application, but my review. I mean, um, the F Secure updates. I don't know if something's going on with their update server or what, but it takes like 20 to 30 minutes to download. I think 12 updates. They're pretty. They must be pretty huge. So I already have a um, a saved virtual machine with the updates installed. So I'll probably switch off to that as I take you through the install process. First off, I want to say this is probably the most beautiful application I've seen. I mean, it is so beautiful. I don't know. I just love the blue. Nice little drop shadow behind the window. I'm, I'm a sucker for visual effects. I like the way things, you know, when an application looks good, it gives me a good feeling. It gives me a better feeling when it performs uh, great. So. So they need my key right now. So you need to get um, a little subscription key for the beta. I'm going to pause the video and put my key in. I'll be right back. Okay. Let's download some updates now. And these updates, this part of the update process doesn't seem to take that long. Um, it's got an automatic installation or step-by-step. -step. Since this is a beta, I'm going to kind of dig into it. And instead of doing a you know default uh, installation, I'm going to do a step by step and see what options it gives me. Full installation or full installation without parental control. Well, I'm not going to look at parental control, so I'm just going to choose not to install it. Just going to let it go to its default path. It's going to go ahead and install. I also want to mention on this PC, this PC does not have a single update Windows wise. So we are completely relying on F-Secure to protect us. I believe um, it has, yeah, it's Service Pack 2, Service Pack 2 without any critical or security updates, which is doomsday if you go on the internet and you have no AV. You'll be hit with every drive-by out there. So I'm kind of showing you this process right here, um, how fast, how fast it installs. It's not, it's not, um, it's not slow or anything. It does does a great job installing. It's just those updates are a killer, man. And I'm also sorry to Patrick Renald. This is the guy who asked me to look at F-Secure. Sorry I'm late a few days. I got a new PC on Saturday and I had to reinstall everything and I've been going for days with that thing. 
this is my uh, my Core 2 quad processor machine. It's an amazing machine. What a difference, especially when it comes to games. I was playing Crisis, and on my old PC, I used to have about 18 frames a second, and now I'm up to 60 frames per second. Just amazing what a good CPU can do. This uh, computer here that I'm installing F-Secure on, it has exactly 512 megs of RAM. That's kind of their minimum. I would definitely feed it more if I could. I'm a little low on RAM on this host computer right now. So I, I believe if you were installing F-Secure, on a PC with more RAM, a uh, better processor. This is just a regular, uh, it's my little test L. Uh, it'd probably fly a lot faster. Okay, they want me to go ahead and restart. I'll follow their orders here. And I'll pause the video. Okay, the PC started up about 20 seconds ago. And F-Secure, um, it seems to take a while to start when the PC starts. I don't know if there's any way uh, to improve that or not, but it's not horrible. It's just, you know, uh, I wish they had something like uh, some kind of early load feature. Maybe try to load F-Secure before we're able to log in or, or something like that. Okay. So F Secure starts back up. It's still going for its uh, installation here. Kind of have a two-part installation. Now it says completing the installation may take five to twenty minutes, depending on network speed. I've got a really fast cable modem line, um, so it is just—I don't know if it's their connection or what, or the updates are absolutely huge. Okay, this is weird. Saying it couldn't validate my key. Okay, I'll validate later. That's all right. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna go ahead and try to pop it open and make sure I'm completely updated, because that's not the usual install process. Let's go to tasks. Gonna go ahead and try to re enter my key. I'll be right back. Okay, well, it finally accepted my key here. And it's starting to do an update. Now, this is a little weird right here. It says downloading updates, and it says done. It says installing update, waiting for update. And then in a few seconds here, we should see it'll say downloading update 0 of 1, 2, 3, 4. It'll keep going all the way up to like 10 or 11, maybe even 12. I can't remember. So then it goes ahead and starts downloading an update again, even though it said it was done. So I guess it, uh, it'll go through and say it's done a few times, I suppose. And it just kind of keeps going and going and going. And some of these come down fast, and some of them are huge. Um, but I'm going to go ahead and save some time here and just go to a virtual machine that already has the updates applied. And I use VMware for all my testing and demonstration purposes. So I have a VM here. I normally don't sew this stuff, but some people are always curious about this. F secured, F secure installed, updated. So I'll go ahead and switch to that VM. VMware, um, I 
got VMware because I needed to test out a lot of corporate stuff, a lot of enterprise stuff, and um, VMware is awesome for that. I'm using VMware Workstation. One of those applications that has always been just really rock solid for me, and um, I never had any trouble with it. I am loading this image off an external hard drive, so it does take a little time, probably more time than it would on a really powerful PC. I have my new demo, my new um, PC for doing these videos sitting right next to me, and uh, I'm getting that thing ready this weekend so I can uh, do these demos a lot faster. Okay, so the PC is restored to a state where F-Secure was installed and completely updated. So now that it's completely updated, and this is, I just did this like less than an hour ago, so I know the updates are fine. But just to satisfy your curiosity and all the people saying you did an update before you started doing this, I'll go ahead and attempt another update here. It shouldn't find one, unless they just released one less than an hour ago. I'll check for updates. Update was successful. Your product is already up to date. It says Internet Security Technology Preview 9.5 is turned off. Let's see why. Subscription expired. Ah, oh, these guys are killing me. Hang on one sec. Okay, I'm back. These guys were just killing me with their keys, man. Hey, I had to register for a new one, so I'm set. Until December 28th. Okay. So if I check for updates again, just to get this done with here, my product is up to date. Perfect. Okay, inside of F-Secure, I've learned a few things about how to configure this thing, and that is go to Settings before you jump on the internet and start testing. I assume that if you do install this, you're testing kind of like me. Some things that I don't understand why they're not turned on, and I guess they'll tell me later. Scan or remove viruses from web traffic. I want that turned on. When a virus or spyware, when virus or spyware is found, um, actions, this is under actions, if unclear, ask me. Uh, I always say, always ask me. Um, it's going to prompt me how I want to deal with it. This one is really important right here. Deep Guard. Turn on Deep Guard. This is the behavioral uh, blocker. It um, takes a look at what a process is doing on your computer and if it is trying to modify or add or delete critical areas of your PC, Deep Guard will say, hey, what's up with this? Do you know this application? Um, what do you want to do with it? And uh, DeepGuard always seems to allow everything in it, you know, unless you say, always ask me. You need to say, when a harmful program is found, always ask me. You get a few more pop-ups, but they're pretty much legit every time. So make sure you say, always ask me under DeepGuard. Uh, the rest of the stuff is pretty much... Um, Pretty much, I didn't have to really touch anything. Um, you could go ahead and set up custom application control rules in here. Uh, the intrusion prevention is turned on. It's going to block and alert uh, and log. Uh, Dial-up control. I don't know of anyone who really uses dial-up anymore at all. I'm sure some people do, but uh, I haven't really seen them. Um, we have browsing protection turned on. Block access to website when it contains a, an exploit, uh, when the website is rated harmful. And we're showing ratings for Google, Yahoo, etc. And we're showing ratings for links and webmail. Uh, email filter, I'm, I'm not testing. 
And um, that's pretty much honestly all I all I did when I went to when I went into configure F secure. So now we are set, ready to go throw some very malicious stuff. I've got some nasty things tonight. Um, I just got these maybe about an hour and a half ago. So let's go ahead and get started here. First link is a Trojan. And of course I need 10 links. Now people always rip on me and say, well, 10 links means nothing. Well, 10 links can kind of give you a decent idea if an application completely sucks or, you know, maybe it missed one. That's pretty much my tolerance. And you can always find something that will go through an antivirus. But with F-Secure, Internet, uh, ISTP, um, we have deep guards. We have a behavioral blocker and a signature-based antivirus. So we're hoping that nothing goes through. I'm going to switch um, our homepage over to Google just so that IE loads fast for me. And people are saying, why are you testing with IE6? Well, I don't care about the browser. I'm testing the antivirus. IE6 is extremely unsecure. I want to make sure the antivirus is able to take care of the security. I don't care about the browser I'm using. I know it's unsecure. Okay, first link, Trojan. I hope all my links work tonight. It's such a pain to get new ones. Good. Internet Security Technology Preview blocked the virus. It removed it. It says web traffic scanning. Virus was removed. If I look at the link, it's nice. They give you a real nice description of what it was. Web traffic detected a Trojan script. Go ahead and close. Let's move on to number two, which is another, which is a drive-by. These drive-bys are the worst thing out there. This is how 90% of my new customers are getting infected. They have um, Windows has not been updated, and they have an expired or bad antivirus. Now it looks like something ran on this PC, right? It didn't. Uh, whenever F Secure removes something, or an execu executable gets downloaded to the hard drive. Um, that command window says program too big to fit into memory, and basically that means it F-Secure killed it. Uh, in this case, we found a Trojan spy, Zbot. Number three is a rootkit. Very nasty indeed. And if I try to run this. If secure does not catch it right away, I think DeepGuard pops up and says, hey, what is this? Something's trying to be installed into services. Virus blocked. We'll say handle automatically. Yeah, yeah, here we go. We get DeepGuard popping up right here. Uh, DeepGuard has noticed uh, that a program is trying to modify the registry or startup, which is potentially dangerous. And I can tell... By looking at the UR, by looking at the executable name and the path it's going to, it's dangerous. And I'll say I do not trust this program. Block it. Now, we also get something here. Virus could not be removed. That's not true exactly because DeepGuard took control of the situation and blocked access to this file. Um, even blocked access to the F-Secure virus scanner. So we basically have put this file uh, into prison and nothing has access to it. We can't touch it. It can't touch anything. Close that. So that is successful as well. Number four is a Trojan. A good old EXE. And F-Secure removes it. But what happens if we try to run it? We get that program is too big to fit in a memory. It's basically a junk executable. It's got nothing left. Its guts have been ripped out. Number five is a drive-by. And I'm 
I'm awaiting. I'm looking at my CPU and my host, it's kind of up there. Wonder if anything's happening here. Well, I can tell you, F-Secure got it uh, about two hours ago. All right, I'll grab another link. Let's move on to number six. Number six doesn't load, probably because I've already visited visited these guys. Um, sometimes they'll see that you're trying to visit them for a second time, and they'll think that you're a researcher, and they will not present anything to you. Um, this would be number six. So the virus was removed. Charge and script. Number seven is nasty ransomware. Hopefully this one will come down. This one took a little while to load last time. Uh, it's a bummer, man. I was hoping to show you guys that. That was so cool. Basically, this page, like two hours ago, downloaded TrueCrypt and a couple of other things and tried to encrypt my files. And uh, F-Secure, uh, the deep guard, caught it. All right. Let's go ahead and move on to some more here. And I uh, tried to uh, access the URL. It was a drive-by, fsecure caught file.exe. If I try to run it, same thing. Program too big to fit into memory or whatever, whatever that is. It says virus was removed. It was a Trojan pinch. Next one is a VBS downloader. And uh, it's removed before it can even do anything. So I need to grab three more links. I'll be right back. Well, we're going to try to grab some rogue uh, antivirus, see if F-Secure uh, takes a look at that and see if we can stop it. It's got three more links to test, and the first link is a Trojan. It's one that I see almost every day. It's called LDR Loader. I try to run it. It uh, is so new that the antivirus doesn't have a definition for it, doesn't have a signature for it. And this link just came out a few minutes ago. But F-Secure's Deep Guard says, I don't care, I do not need signatures. I can go ahead and block this because I can tell this is doing something nasty. I'll say block it, block it. Very nasty executable. All right, we'll grab another one here. Link number two out of three here is a Trojan as well. It is caught by the signature scanner right away. If I try to run it, nothing, it doesn't work. And it was, these are nasty, Win32 Agent. These agents will shut down your antivirus if they actually get on your PC. And boy, they're not fun to uh, get rid of. Let's grab our third and final link here. And the last link is a rogue antivirus that tries to install. And F-Secure catches that, the signature scanner does, and it's detected as Trojan Downloader W32 Fraud Load. So, so let's go ahead and pop open F-Secure. There's a few more things to look at here. One is the big old status button. 
we have scheduled scanning turned off, dial-up control turned off. And it kind of gives you an overview of how things look. And you can't miss the big old green check, check mark there. Under tasks, you can go ahead and scan, check for updates, open a port on the software firewall. You can let a program start if you've accidentally blocked it. You can click settings and open up settings for the advanced user and you. you can go through all these guys and um, get as granular as you want with the firewall. Pretty flexible. I really don't cover firewall stuff. I don't have enough time. There's too much stuff there. And um, you can go ahead and unquarantine something if you want. Under statistics, you can see what we've um, looked at. Programs allowed, seven, blocked from starting, three. And I don't really see anything on, okay, virus and spyware cleaning. It's kind of weird because it doesn't really show you what we've been doing here. We've, we've gone through ten uh, malicious, you know, URLs. We, you'd think we'd see some clean files or whatever. Uh, maybe they consider that some other kind of report. And if we go back, that's pretty much it. You're, you know, it's pretty simplistic interface, and that's awesome. I mean, that's great for regular users. So F-Secure's Technology Preview 2009 for their Internet Security product was really um, a standout application. Just real nice. Just, you know, beautiful, beautiful app, the way it looks, um, the way it's configured, and then it's perfect. Um, I've been using it for three or four weeks now. Always meaning to do a review, but uh, it, was just, it just took forever. So it took forever to get the whole review organized. But anyway, this is a beta, so um, I'm not sure if they're going to add anything to it. It looks pretty, pretty final to me. So I hope you enjoyed the F-Secure technology preview. Great application. So now all you people who get this for, for uh, free with your um, little ISP bundle, you've got a nice um, little uh, application coming to protect your PC. So that's it for me. I'm going to go ahead and upload this. I will see you guys later.